Greetings, I'm Helix Oblivion and this is my Let's Play of Life is Strange. We're now into episode four, Dark Room. Dum dum da. Um, is it loading? Let me in, dead. Um, so yeah, let's see what this is about. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. So this is pretty much a catch up. Who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with? I never touch me again, freak! I know you need help. Eh, oh, there's gum on the windowsill. <laughs> I only just noticed that. Stuff like that grosses me out. Seriously. Let's talk about your superpower. Oh no! What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please. Tell us everything. Yeah, because you're going to listen. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over wonder... and over. Oh, man. That's it. I wonder what the dark room is. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am... Awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> so I went Hello. back and are changed that one Maxine? thing. This is totally and up. everything's different now. Max Everything. Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe. And I don't quite know you what have to a make visitor. of it. How could saving one person make such a difference? But it has. Life is Strange is a story based game that you. Yeah, 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 I know. If all your game actions and decisions will impact past, present, and future, choose wisely. I'm trying! I don't know if I'm succeeding or if I'm failing. I think I'm failing. Oh, little crab! Hey, crab! Crabby crab, crab, crab. That's very picturesque. That'd make a good picture. Square Enix. Dun dun dun. Push bikes. Somebody pushed their push bike over. Come on. Enough of the pretty scenic shots of dead whales. What are they, what do they do with the bodies of dead whales? Do they just leave them to rot? Because man, that would stink. I mean, they used to use whale blubber as fuel and bones as, well, bones in corsets. So, you know, maybe they could uh, use the stuff. I don't know, but it just seems a bit rank to just leave them there to rot. I know animals will pick at them and eat them, but it's going to stink, man. Chloe and Max. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. <laughs> it's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? It's not just what photographers call it. you here, I have it. no clue. But you could take some amazing shots. Call it. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. I do love the golden hour, though. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. <clears throat> I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. She's still my so angry. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. You're so, so angry. Should we blame William or talk about the accident? Let's talk about the accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ouch. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? I wonder if Kate uh, is never. still alive. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. You think it might be? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. So you are shaped by what you go through in life. For good or for bad, you should take it and try to learn from from it. Because without those things, you're not who you were. It's like Chloe, her dad didn't die, she's not the person she became. She doesn't have short blue hair, she's not all rebel-fied. She's still angry though. You could put her in a palace with chocolate on tap and she'd still be angry. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. <laughs> Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, 
I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, I'm in control. <laughs> Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. Yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? You're right, seems like you're still. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But... I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. <laughs> are you lonely? Are they okay? They love you. Are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in any teen trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Um, oh, can, can they pay? pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Ouch. Holy sh You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show <laughs> on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. That sounds kind of final. <coughs> okay. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. What are we looking at here? Snow globes are taking over. <laughs> Let's search this drawer. Aha, here's the DVD. What's in this drawer then? Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power! <laughs> That's cool. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. That's a serious heat lamp. Okay, I'm just gonna go through all your stuff. Don't mind me. Wow, sir. 
Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Wow. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Yes. Given that the, uh, the campus and buildings have all been constructed for school of nine. That sucks. That really sucks. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. She can't do it though. What's the point in that? Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Can I close the blind? No. Is there anything else to look at? I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah, I can understand why it'd feel like that. Make a wish. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. You know, hearts and thoughts, we hope to see a smiling face soon. Please be well. I, I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. You don't think I hope you feel better. Hope to see you again. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Did you send her the hot dog? Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. What's this? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. <laughs> okay. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Oh, okay. That's cool. There's the old Chloe. <laughs> I'm just going through your gears, don't, you know, don't mind me. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. Okay, so I'm wiping her face? Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Okay. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Nothing but medical supplies. Is that one of those Himalayan salt rock lamp things? You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. Blade Runner it is! I love that film. It's awesome. Although I didn't think Pris had blue hair. I thought it was white. Cool. I didn't offer to put makeup on her. Oh damn, maybe I should have done. Oh, stupid. I'd have made her look like a clown anyway. I can't do makeup. Oh, I must have fallen asleep.
I always fall asleep through films. It's terrible. <laughs> I have to watch about them about three or four times before I finally get to the end. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Yes. Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Oh, I gotta get her drugs, man. I gotta get your drug on. Okay. What's this say? Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Wow. 8,587,000 pounds, man. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. What's this? Come by my room tonight, Max. Are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried. Nathan was worried too? If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you, Max. If you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. I'm not sure what's trippier. The fact that Chloe is in a wheelchair or that Victoria's going, I love you. I, I'm your friend. I'm here for you. Well, Nathan and I are worried about you. Seriously? Oh, gosh. How many messages? Alicia? Okay. Hey, Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Unless you saw you throw that TP at me. Oh, my God. I was so not aiming at you. I swear. Don't do it again. Yeah, right, cried like a... Wow. Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mum. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mum is a badass like you. Yeah, right, I cried like a bitch. So did, so did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone's about to die, so call me back. Mum. You're not the... I was just can't text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, a long day of homework. You're not the only one and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only brought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey. Hope you don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but it don't drown it either, mummy. Chloe. Oh, Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. Hope bye. Hey, Chloe. Maxine here. Hope it. No, it's been a while. Just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. Hope this is still your number. Blackwell, that's so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So, yes, this is still my number. Cool. I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. Smiley face. I don't know what to think. Oh. Yo, yo, Max, you round in the dark room developing shots for the contest. Sweet. So not too wells for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. 
I don't trust. I don't. I feel soiled. I don't like this. He's balancing books. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Oh, man. Let's talk to William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Karen, Chloe, Joyce. A uh, Paris trip. Karen. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Oh, William. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. No. Oh. It's not fair, Max. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic very old school as they say <laughs> i think it's great for chloe to see you makes joyce happy too so it's not all bad news in arcadia bay or is it i was reading about that missing girl rachel amber oh yes yeah, she went to blackwell right oh poor thing that's a real nightmare for a family I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying. Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. I think it might be. Got a horrible oh. feeling I need to go back. Yep. It's the same graffiti from before. Hmm. What's the newspaper say? These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Why did you think she wouldn't be? Choice is a food coupon boss.
No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Okay. Is there anything here? Hook, line, sinker, ass, knocking, robot leg. What? Missing donuts. Knife. Nothing's lighting up. Ah, oh, I really don't know which is worse. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Oh, no. I don't know what is better or worse. I don't know what freaks me out the most. I don't know if it's the whole... sort of Nathan and Victoria being nice and worried about me or or what this used to be Ra um, not Rachel this used to be Chloe's room too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. What's this? Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. What's this? I never heard much about William's brother. Hi Bill, sorry for not staying in touch since the accident work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. Wish I could send you a bigger check, but you know the story money is nobody's favourite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. I can sit. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Yeah. I feel responsible too. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? For how much longer? I guess we stopped growing up together. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Are you sure about that? Oh dear. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Can I turn the light on? It's a bit dark in here. Nothing here. Okay. Search that. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Maybe it's in this cabinet. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Where is it? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. 
save electricity. They're broke already. <clears throat> oh, hey. Max, it is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good. I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. <laughs> you rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Why bring up David Madsen? She won't even know who he is, will she? Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you hmm. know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Is this a hint? Honestly, <laughs> I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. I'm gonna go you too, honey. I'm gonna go hit her up with some morphine. I hope that's okay. Do you mind if I just have a snoop? Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. I want you to understand the response. Understand the reaction is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had. I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to be prepared for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should be also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. She's dying, I think. Great. So let's choose, shall we? Don't mind me, I'm just going through William your drawers. trying so hard. Super dad. He's, he's still awesome. Hero. Oh, he's so it's cool. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. 
Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Hmm. Well, nobody does. It is hidden and unknown. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Okay. Yes, I'll go downstairs. Can I go in the garage? No. Is that what is cl hmm? Is that what this used to be? Did this used to be the garage? And they've now converted it into Chloe's room. I think so. Hey, Chloe, girlfriend, I got your drugs. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? I could do your makeup. Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Dun -dun -dun. Let's look at pictures. I want to investigate what the it's hell I'm okay. doing with Victoria and Nathan. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. So basically we're gonna sit here and- Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you be my last memory. Do you understand? Oh, no. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I can't do that. I can't. No. I can't. I can't do that. That's wrong. I don't know. Chloe, 
I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. I can't. No, I can't do that. No. No, no, no. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? Always people You've been bailing on to you. Since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Oh, we have to fix this. Take the picture. Take. I'm sorry, William. Okay, now. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. Come on. Who wants to help me make grapes? There you go. There you go. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. No, it am It's caused too much trouble. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh dear. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. 
even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. And it all goes back. All changes. I wonder if she remembers that now. Having to choose between who lives and who dies. That is awful. awful. She's going to pass out now. Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Right, well, I think we'll Max, end... Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Just a little bit. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome right. back to the real world, Max. Right, well, let's end this episode here. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.